So, I don't really fight with my wife as much as we used to fight, <laughs> but um, we just don't fight a lot anymore. We've been together like 10 years now, but over the last couple weeks, uh, a couple weeks ago, we, we, we started getting in a, quite a few arguments and it was really stressful. And here's the way it works. Your woman, I just ate. If your woman is standing on your neck, like your woman, if you've been with her for a while, or vice versa, she knows you like the back of her hand. She might even know you better than she knows, uh, than you know yourself. And she can see when there's an issue or something that you're avoiding or uh, a potential iceberg that you're, you guys are heading towards that you're not paying attention to or you, your ego is blinding you, blinding you from seeing. So what, what my wife does, and let's just say uh, women are more intuitive, I try to be careful what I say with all this politically crap, crap. So stupid. But, um, so I'll just talk about myself. How about that? My wife is very intuitive. And she, I don't want to admit that. And she's very good at standing on my neck when I'm av avoiding something. See, we get really busy as small business owners and we can use... The excuse that we have so much going on and we do to not face a certain uh, situation so we can keep putting it off because we don't want to deal with it yet it's this banging resounding gong you know, it feels like I'm speaking in circles because I don't want to say exactly the situation but here's what happened it was about two weeks ago my wife got to the point where she was standing in the kitchen uh, yelling at me to the point of screaming and she was frustrated to the point of tears and it was very painful and I was in ultimate defense mode I was so defensive that I felt like she was attacking me do you got this like when your woman is arguing with you or bringing something to your attention it feels like she's attacking you um, she says she's not attacking me, but I'm like, you're attacking me. Because <laughs> that's what it feels like. And she's like, no, I'm trying to help you. Well, I'm like, well, I don't want your help. I can see the situation clearly. Stop telling me how I should feel. It's, it's funny how when your, your woman wants you... To feel a certain way that you don't feel and you can't help it like I, I can't help the way I feel I don't feel this or I feel this way I can't help the way I feel what do you want me to do force myself to feel how you want me to feel like no so that's where arguments happen and then what I do is I I resign to just throw in the towel I'm like well you feel the way you feel I feel the way I feel stay the stay out of my business and, st and she's like, what? Stay out of stay out of your business? We're married. What do you mean stay out? And that's when the shit hits the fan. Because I get pissed, dude. <laughs> but here's, here's what I, this is why I I'm telling you all this. This shit seems crazy, right? You know me. I'm Keith Kelfus. I got a point here, dog. At the precipice of our fight... And I'm at the point of tears. I'm going to just explode. Now I'm thinking negative thoughts about my wife and about our marriage and about how this crazy chick is giving me ultimatums. And I'm, I'm done, dude. At the height of the pain is the transformation. I don't know how this happened, but I'm very thankful it did. So the ego blocks truth, truth with a capital T, the truth of the matter. See, what happens is we polarize on our story of our partial truth and we ignore lies. 
I hope you pick up what I'm putting down. I talk about stuff like this on my I Am Ability channel. And if you see this thing on my lip, we just got home from out of town and my, my cat was hiding uh, down in my studio and I was trying to p pull him up because he was hiding because we were out of town and we have people that watch our house. Our family is over every day watching our house. And I'm trying to pick the cat up and I, I go to hold the cat and he doesn't want me to hold him. He's trying to get away because he's a rescue cat. He's like skittish and he, he kicked me in the face. My lip was bleeding. My whole shoulder is all scratched up and my hand was bleeding. Don't ever try to hold a cat that doesn't want to be held. All right. See, I'm, I'm evading. I'm avoiding. <sighs> so, there's nothing worse when you have a million things going on in a very limited time and somebody's trying to tell you what you, you need to be handling a situation, especially like your own wife. In the height of of the argument I looked at my wife's eyes and I my ego for some reason went down and the truth seeped in and I'm not saying that she's always right but I looked in her eyes and I saw her her eyes you know my dog is in the window and he's clawing at the screen can I can I can I be away from you for like 60 seconds Jesus. I saw the whites of my eye, my wife's eyes, and she was in pure truth and consciousness. And then I realized that I was in denial and I was in the lie. And I was the one who was trapped in my ego. And I was the one prolonging the suffering and I realized that she was right about what she was been standing on my neck about that was getting worse and worse and worse. A situation and a family matter. And I, I don't know if I started crying or what, but all of a sudden it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, oh my God, you're right. How come I... I haven't seen this and here's what my wife does when I finally sometimes when she is right sometimes I'm not saying all the time and I just let down my whole guard and I'm like oh my god because that's I could like I I'm obsessed with consciousness and I want to see it from the other person's point of view I have empathy and I will really try to emulate and simulate and integrate and use sympathy and empathy and different uh steps to literally get inside of somebody's conscious mind and feel what they feel so I can try to understand where they're coming from so I can I just I'm I like that I, I, I'm I really consider myself an open-minded person but we have these unconscious and subconscious blocks these pathologies that stop us from seeing the truth all the way back to our own childhood so no matter, no matter how conscious you think you are I think we, most of us have this right because I have a lot of guilt and uh, just shame from my childhood and growing up poor on food stamps and you know I just feel like I I need to save the world right but anyways, when I, when I, when I, I ad, admitted that my wife was right, and this is the whole point of this video, is that, you know, to trust your woman's intuition. Not all the time, because sometimes she'll just, she'll be, she'll be like 80% right, and then she just throws a crazy ass monkey wrench and like, you ain't right. No, you no no. That's not the way it went down. You're blown that way out of proportion, and that's sh you're you're just now you're just making shit up. <laughs> now you're just hmm? amen, right? So I feel like a comedian here because you're you're probably watching this and you got me you got the volume turned up so your woman can hear it right now and she just heard me said that. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? It's Keith. Um, <laughs> All right. So, but this is what my wife does when I do admit that she's right. Now she'll take the, the, the knife, or I'll say the screwdriver, I'll be nice. And she'll push it all the way in 
and push me over the, now and now she'll 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 drive the point all the way home to where now I'm like just sitting there suffering like a gutted fish it's really really this weird weird it's dark man it's a very gruesome experience to have yourself be cut open like a fish and is you know it's very mortal because everything that is exposed to the light becomes the light it's like pressed down and run over no, no, no. It's like you're, you're. I feel like you're, you're being like a rolling pin. Like you're like dough, and you're cut open, and you're being rolled out as flat and thin as possible, and being pressed through the cracks so the truth can shine on every part of you and evaporate any lies. So it has to go hit, hit absolute pure suffering until you completely let go, and all the truth seeps in, and there's no darkness, no lie or ego hiding that will refester. Right, you have to go through complete transformation, and and my wife could see something so crystal clear and see that I was so much in denial, and she had to use every tactic possible to do what she probably doesn't like to do, which is put me through absolute suffering to get me to see the truth. And and whenever this happens, I end up with tears in my eyes and I keep repeating thank you thank you she's like what the what the f are you talking about thank you thank you and I thank you thank you so much for being in my life and putting up with me why do you love me so much I asked my wife this like why do you love me so much that you're willing to go to the depths of hell and suffer just to get me to see this truth she goes because I'm your muse Keith I'm your muse the whole reason that I'm here is to get you to learn these crazy ass spiritual deep lessons and that's that's the whole purpose like she'll she, she says some really dark twisted shit sometimes like and then I'm like all afraid and I'm like shaking <laughs> and I love her so much dude like and when we were younger I used to try to go up and hug my wife or kiss her or joke around during these times to try to make it all better. And I'll do that now. I just sit there and I, I stay present with the suffering. I stay present and I stay present with her. And we hold that space. And I don't duck or dodge or put my head in the sand in these times when it's most important. And I feel it because what you're doing is you're robbing yourself and her and from, you know. I feel like I'm like... Uh, bipolar right here because I stick my head in the sand until the truth comes and when the truth comes in and I realize the truth is there when you realize the truth and the light is shining you you have to open up open 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 and let the truth flow in every moment moment by moment even right now you're either opening or closing opening or closing when you're in fear and anxiety and you're in toil and depression and you're in a dark place you're closing when as soon as you become aware though you have to open and if you can stay in a place of being open and being receptive that's when you can reach enlightenment and just because you're in the middle of suffering in the moment doesn't mean that you're not moving closer to the light and to enlightenment it's it's suffering when you're in a physical fleshy body and third density physical consciousness in this realm of reality being a spirit being is very it's part of the game i mean that's why we're here it's the dichotomy of flesh and bone with this and, and being a spirit that you you have to experience physical things in order to evolve right it's part of it you know but you don't want to stay stuck i'm freezing Jesus, my dog is going nuts. So here's what I wanted to say. And now I'm thanking my, my wife, telling her how much I love her, but really in a, from a place of gratitude and appreciation and knowing that, you know, this is a woman that, excuse me, I just ate. <laughs> um, I just got out of the gym and I brought my wife home a Frosty. I didn't tell her. I was on the phone with my buddy Patrick Clark from F Florida. He's one of the... Uh, AGSX coaches. More on that later. But, um. <sighs> so, the moral of my this story is that 
if you're open and receptive, there's a reason that your woman is with you and all this time puts up with all your shit, just like you put up with hers. And you, you need each other. And sometimes the best thing to do is let your guard down and see through the eyes of love. And just because you're in love with each other doesn't mean that everything has to be roses all the time, right? You can go through hard times together, but you never forsake each other. You never walk out on each other. You never throw each other on the uh, uh, under the bus, and you have each other's backs, right? I can get very uh, vindictive and mean sometimes. My wife says I get very mean, right? And I do because I'm angry. And I get angry because I work so hard and I and I'm, I fight tooth and nail to keep you know food on the fridge and the mortgage paid and my family taken care of and sometimes I feel like um, it's not even noticed right but it is noticed and I think my wife feels the same way so an important thing to do in communication is to look at your your woman and say thank you so much and give her massage her feet if that's her love language right for me it's physical touch right so I th open communication you know screw you I'm gonna I'm gonna go cuddle with my wife right now I'm done talking to you peace oh yeah my new books coming out dude it's gonna be dope all right I'm out of here